Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On this video, I will show you how you can fly quick approaches using the Azobo Boeing 737 MAX 8 and FSI Panel 2024. So before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. All right, let's start by the beginning. You need to select the correct aircraft. You can select any livery. Here I'm on a business jet, BBJ 737 MAX 8, and I will select where I want to train. So we are over San Diego. So let's pick up San Diego as the airport where we will train. And then runway 09, that doesn't matter. It's very important that you select the runway though. Then the aircraft will be positioned with the engines running, ready to depart. And this is what we need for FSI panel. As for the weather, feel free to use any weather you like. I'll use live weather today. So I'll just select live and that's it. Now we are ready. So I will click start flight. And we are positioning now the aircraft on the runway and we are expecting the aircraft to have engines running, IRS align, which are the things that FSI panel needs to fly the aircraft. Okay, here we are, our beautiful 737 is right there. So I will click on ready to fly and we are in the cockpit. So as I said before, make sure your engines are running. This is very important, stable and running. Make sure your IRS are aligned, that's the case. And now what you can do is uh, set the training weight. So if you want more passengers, less passengers, go ahead and load your aircraft as you like. So here I will take more passengers and for the fuel, I can leave that fuel. I'm, I'm happy with that, but you can basically use any fuel you want. And once you have your aircraft at the desired training weight, just click on load aircraft and that's it. Now you have the aircraft that is loaded as you wish. One more thing you need to do before we start FSI panel, you go to the uh, toolbar and there you will find the FSI panel icon. This is the in-game module, so you need to click on it and that will open the message window, status connecting, so now FSI panel will be able to communicate with the uh, simulator. So let's go ahead and start now uh, FSI panel. So here we go, FSI panel has started. It takes a few seconds to detect everything. And as you can see now, the detected compatible aircraft is the Azobo 737 MAX. So this is what we want to check as well. We want to make sure we have the correct aircraft detected. And we have San Diego detected runway 09. On the top line here, you have the latest METAR. This is always live weather. This is not the sim uh, weather. If you if you use a preset or something else or custom weather, this is always live weather. So you can see that we have a low ceiling today, 16 degrees, quite cold, 3014 is the altimeter. Runway, we have uh, runway 09. If you click on runway, you could select any other runway. So right now we are going to shoot an IRS approach. So I'm going to select runway 09. As for the um, position, what we could try to do today is a vector to final. So I just click on the vector. So I'm expecting the aircraft to be on a 30 degrees heading to intercept the ILS runway 09. And for that, the aircraft will be flaps five, gear up. And you can see the summary right there, vectors, ILS runway 09, eight nautical miles at 2,400 feet. So now we are ready to go. So I will click move aircraft and then we will see what happened in the simulator. So here we are in the sim. So the first thing we'll see the flaps, they're already at five, so that's fine. The altitude has been set and now FSI panel puts the aircraft in the air. So here we can see the uh, autopilot mode has been, uh, have been engaged correctly with a speed heading, vertical speed, 2400. The gear went up, auto brake has been set to two. We are at flaps five and now the aircraft is going down toward 2400 feet, which is the altitude we decided to be and we are on a 30 degrees intercept for our uh, runway. Poaching 2400. So now the aircraft will level off and this will be the time for FSI panel to give you the control. So if you look now on the left side of your screen here on the message, you will see the next message, which is aircraft ready. Hold your brake for three seconds to take control. Okay, so now basically, the aircraft is in a position freeze. As you can see, we are perfectly stable. And now you can basically start working on your cockpit. If you want to increase the speed, decrease the speed, lower the flaps, lower the gear, 
do whatever you want. You're in a position freeze. For now, I think we are in a very good position. You can see that we have the ILS already selected here. One thing we could do here is to program the uh, uh, FMC, as FSI panel does not do that yet on the MAX 8. It is planned, it will come, but it is not yet ready. So in the future, you will have a setup normally done by FSI panel. Here, what you should do, very easy, just go for San Diego to San Diego. So I'm showing you the easy way to do it. Hopefully that should work on the Ezobo aircraft. So let's have a look. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's the Airbus. San Diego destination, fine. Now we can go departure arrival. We said we want to do an ILS-09. Here we go, as you can see, beautiful. Legs, activate, execute. Now, we don't want to go to uh, Bargs, to Sargs, because this is not on a straight line. So I'm going to take the next waypoint, which is Gato. So here there is two options. Either you take direct to Gato and put it on top, or we can try to basically go Gato and then put the runway course 0905, execute, and now we have an extended center line. We are two miles left of that uh, line. That's perfect. Now we look at the weight. So if I go to the initref, I can set my landing weight. Landing speed, sorry, 133. So 138 will be our final approach speed. Perfect. So for me, that's good. That's all I need to practice landing. I'm ready to go now. And I will hold my brake as instructor for three seconds to take control. So let's go ahead. One, two, and three. And I have control, so now I can just arm the approach. And we have the DME here. Remember, we said we want to be at eight miles once we uh, get established on the localizer. So this is what we have in mind now. We are getting close to the uh, localizer, and we should be fully established at eight nautical miles. This is what we programmed in FSI panel. So let's see that happening now. We can see that we are getting closer to the center line. The speed right now is good. And the advantage if you program the FMC is that you have a full missed approach procedure. So should you go around, then everything is set. So let's go flaps one. Oh, we have flaps five already. That's good. So bug five. 160 knots. Aircraft is turning final. I'll set the bug to five and inbound one zero nine of five. Here we go. Ten miles at eight miles, glide slope will be coming, so it looks perfect. Let's go gear down, flaps 15, bug 15, and we're going to set the lights on and arm the speed brake. Good. Light slope captured, Mr. Poach altitude 5000 by ATC, set, and I can go now with flaps 30 and set my V approach, we said 138. Perfect. Landing checklist, engine start switches continues, speed brake, armed landing gear, down flaps, 30 green light. Landing checklist completed. Good. As easy as that, as you can see, we are established. It took us a couple of seconds to uh, position the aircraft. You can, of course, posi position the aircraft directly on final if you want to. But for training purposes, I always think it's better to just go on a quick intercept like we did. And then you can control the aircraft, take your time, make sure you have the go around pass inserted. So that's completely up to you uh, what you want to do. One thing you, s you probably saw here, my flaps were moving because I have some hardware. I have the uh, Trustmaster and I forgot to synchronize the uh, flaps handle. So now she's doing She's following my hardware rather than uh, whatever her FSI panel has set. Okay, so anyway, that's my bed. We are going to do flaps 40 landing because of that. 
So let's put 130, 135. We have flaps 40 and we can do the landing. So that's one thing as well. If you have hardware like I do, make sure you have your flaps set to the correct position. Otherwise, at some time it will synchronize and the flaps might go up if you have your handle to flap zero and that will lead to a disaster, of course. So that was my bad, but it's a good example because it, show you, it shows you uh, the trap uh, when you're using FSI panel with some hardware. Same thing applies to the landing gear. If FSI panel wants to put the gear down and your handle is up, maybe it will not be able to do it or vice versa. Okay, so let's see. Now we are approaching 500 feet. I can see the approach lights. Something I found strange on MSFS 2024, it was the same in MSFS 2020, guys. Let me know if I'm right or not. The uh, PAPI were never correct. So you're supposed to cross the threshold at 50 feet. And if you follow a very nice three degrees descent, sometimes you have the too low, you're below glide slope and that doesn't work. So autopilot comes off. I'll show you that now. Auto throttle will come off. And see, I'm trying to cross the threshold at 50 feet now. If I follow the PAPI, it's not completely correct. and. I don't know why they, they're not able to fix that. Okay, let's do the landing and I'll show you the landing report. Speed back up, reverse green, and auto brake disarmed. And I'm going to stop the aircraft just here as we are turning left on the next exit okay so let's stop the aircraft and i will have a look at the uh, landing report of fsi panel okay here we go i stop it right here parking brake is set and let's bring fsi panel Okay, so here we go. The first thing you will see here, this is new, is the landing information. You can see the landing distance. You can see the rate of descent during the landing. You can see the pitch, the bank, and you can see the threshold height. That I was telling you, the ideal altitude is 50 feet. As per the approach speed from 1,000 feet to threshold, we had a difference of roughly nine, nine knots. So that's considered normal. You can see it's green. If you are coming too fast at 1,000 feet compared to your threshold, then those figures will be red or orange, showing you that you are not stabilized. If you want more information, you can click on the full landing report, and there you will get your uh, descent profile. You will, set, you will see here your localizer deviation, and you will see as well some more information there. You can save the uh, landing report just like that, and that's about it. So this is the uh, summary information and this is the full landing report. All right, so my aircraft is still on ground. As you can see, we have the flaps, speed brake, everything is there. And now what I can do is bring the flows. So if I bring the flows here, you can see that we have repeat last approach or cancel. So if you have one of the aircraft fully supported, like the Phoenix, PMDG, very soon, and other aircraft, you will have the after landing and some other flows. Here you have the options to repeat last approach. If you don't want to go back to FSI panel, or if you have your headset, uh, VR headset on, then you can just click on repeat last approach. If you do that, then FSI panel will take care of everything. You can see the flaps are moving now to flaps five, and this time I will try to follow with my hardware and then FSI panel will bring us back in the air. It retracted already the speed brake. So here again, I have nothing to do. I'm just watching uh, what FSI panel is doing and following the instruction. So the flaps are moving toward flaps five. I just don't have a flaps five on my hardware for this aircraft. I'm very sorry guys about that. Okay, flaps five, that's good. Everything is ready. Release your parking brake. So I have, again, because I have an hardware to release my parking brake, that's done. And now we go. And you will see that 
FSI panel will put us exactly at the same position as before. The gear is going up. We are going down to 2,400 feet. And we'll be able to fly a second approach in a row very easily. Now we already have the uh, destination in the box as we programmed it before. So the only thing we'll have to do now is just insert a new approach. So my advice is, guys, do not touch that anything until FSI panel tells you the aircraft is ready. You will have plenty of time because you will be in a position freeze. So we are reaching 2,400 feet. The next thing you're expecting is uh, aircraft ready, hold your brake for three seconds to take control. So you can see that in a couple of seconds. Here we go. And now you have plenty of time. The aircraft is in a position freeze. So here, very nice. You can select what you want to do, same speed. And I can just go again and insert my ILS. That's the one I want. Execute. And we can do the exact same procedure. Gato, I want the 095. Execute. And that's it. I'm ready for my second approach. Hold the brake. One, two, and three. And off we go. I have control. I am the approach. And this is my second approach in a row. As easy as that. All right, guys. If you have any question or comment, please drop it in a section down below. I will be very pleased to answer your questions. And stay safe. And please do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye-bye.